Hello everybody, you are listening to Alfred's Business News Updates. Alfred's Business News Updates is brought to you by the company Alfred & Friends. To find out more about how you can invest in any one of the subsidiary companies of Alfred & Friends, or so check out our numerous products and services, simply go to alfredandfriends.com. For this update, I'd like to talk about the Oyo Nova Gym. You know, now, this product is very amazing. It's basically a full gym. You know, that is created in the most beautiful manner. It's like a full gym equipment that is based on design, basically. It is designed to be kind of like, um, I would say, it is basically, it looks um, smaller than a dumbbell. It is kind of like a ruler. Let us say the size of a ruler. You know, like um, a normal 30 cm ruler. Let's put it that way. But when you extend it, it is just based on mechanics. You can open it up kind of like a fan. You know, but not a fan. I'm just talking about the opening motion. And due to certain strains and levers, you can basically do all the exercises that you could do in a gym. And thanks to the technology, you can actually replicate weights on it when it comes to the tension between the device that you're pulling. Now, this is something that is best seen. It is difficult to describe you know, with words, you know, for and for you to fully understand, you have to see it. So, links and videos about it will be on the site. Now, this company has done very well, you know. It is very interesting. Unfortunately, there there's many things to be said from the business aspect. They are always doing Kickstarter programs. At this point, I think a company on this level that creates something so revolutionary should invest a lot in advertising and they should be thinking of going public but interestingly on kickstarter it is the number one most funded fitness products in kickstarter history you know personally you know how i feel about kickstarter and about people who raise money for their business people who basically use the charity structure for their business you know i don't like it i don't understand why people go with it and the people who go with it will criticize pastors for asking for money you know yet the same people will now go you know and start businesses that is based off of donations how can you raise donations to start a business then when your business is in trouble you are also raising donations for your business it is so ridiculous and that same person will look at the pastor and say that pastors are thieves that they are taking money from people you can imagine and these are people that know fully well that these pastors are using the money on church maintenance and for running the church. Also, the laborer is worthy of his wages and they are also seeing that the pastors are traveling and are using these funds to preach the gospel, which is what they are giving the funds for in the first place. You know, but that aside, you know, even if you were to look for and let us say that somebody was um, being dishonest, you know, which is a different topic altogether, you know, because first of all, for somebody to still be a pastor, it means that that person is using money. For somebody to still be preaching either on television or anything, that person is using money. So clearly, a portion of what that person is getting from donations is going in that direction, irrespective of what anybody is saying. If somebody was truly a thief as a pastor, as people like to put um, people in that category, you know, if somebody was truly a thief, you will not see them because they will steal and go. The fact that they are still visible means they are standing on the plat or on the engine of money because they will need money for all the advertising and whatever um, situation made you see them whether you saw them on a billboard or you saw them on tv even if it's a christian tv channel a lot of pastors and churches have to pay money to be on those christian tv channels and that is why they at the end of a lot of all those um, broadcasts you hear them saying this broadcast was brought to you thanks to viewers and partners in this area and all of those kinds of announcements you see so that is something that uh, you must realize for them to be even be seen you know so one thing is for sure, if you want to go into what percentage 
do they keep for themselves and what percentage they want to use for me they use for ministry that is a different matter and i want to ask how do you know you know are you seeing their accounting you know but that being said there are companies and there are different organizations that that look into the accounting of um, a lot of all these um, churches and ministries and they see and monitor all of that but in a, in, in spite of all of that they are it's very clear that much of or a portion of the money has to be used in whatever they are doing you know whether in running the church or to go around preaching the gospel and all of that you know hotels plane tickets whatever fuel for the cars for the ministry um um purposes even the few handful of ministers who have private jets you know, which are gifts. That is the truth because <laughs> that is the reality of the matter. A lot of the pastors that have private jets, they are gifts from Christian members. You know, a lot of times it is just one member or two members or a number of members. You know, you have to understand that about um, private jets. And you also have to understand about pastors that they are saving lives and are helping people for free. So why does it surprise you that somebody can give them a private jet? You know, there are people who give prostitutes private jets. In case you do not know, know it now. There are a lot of people who give prostitutes cars. And I'm not talking about small cars. I'm talking about people who give prostitutes um, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and the rest of them. You know, because basically a sugar baby is a prostitute. And a man who is 80 years old or 90 years old who marries a female that is in her 20s, that woman is a prostitute. She may be a more clever prostitute than other prostitutes, but she is still a prostitute. You see, because clearly she married just for money. You know, what is a woman doing marrying somebody that is three times her age? You see, and the man knows that if it was not for his money, she will not even, you know, why will a 90 or 80 year old man be marrying a 20 year old female? You know, how many, look at all the women who are billionaires in this world. All the female billionaires in this world, how did they get their money? Either when their husband died or when their father died and then they inherited it. That is a story for a lot of women. You know, so there is that and then there is obviously the those who are married straight up for money you see so that is still prostitution and then i'm even when it comes to those who are official sugar babies they still get a lot of gifts that are that's on that level you know and even normal prostitutes like porn stars porn stars are actually prostitutes and i'm talking about not just based on what they are doing i'm talking about the prostitution that is a part of the porn star industry because a porn star does not make as much money as people think you know the real money is in prostitution for a porn star because now a normal prostitute no matter how beautiful she is she has her price range but when she is a porn star because of the fame the popularity that goes with that and they are low and the kind of way that she has placed herself as a brand that is in people's head she now has her agents to market her secretly behind the scenes to a lot of people that is why a lot of porn stars travel to dubai because those arabs they have a lot of money to spend on sleeping with porn stars and i'm talking about serious money and the agent gets their money from that the porn star gets a lot of money from that so the real money in porn is not in the porn itself it's in the prostitution that is that is attached to it you know, there are a lot of wealthy men who like this. They have seen this um, porn star that has hundreds of th of millions of views and has a popular name. And they want to sleep with that porn star. So the process of getting that porn star and, you know, since he's straight up paying for sex, the money is astronomical. A lot of NFL players, a lot of basketball players, so many people. You know, there's a lot of money that is being exchanging hands in that scenario. So I'm just um, letting you know about the definition of prostitution and how money is passed there. You know, so that being said, 
people would see all this. People would see um, the see pastors who are using money for the gospel, and that is the one that they criticize. You know, they see people who are using money for all kinds of weird purposes and also for this kind of thing like Oyo Nova Gym. I like the products, but this Kickstarter method of using charity to start your business and using charity to fund your business is madness. If you want to sell shares in your business, that is something else. If you want people to invest in your business, when my business makes a profit, I will, will, I will give you back, um, I'll start paying you back from the profits you know that is honest and that is good but not that you come out and say that i need you to donate for my business there are especially during this covid 19 era you know there are companies that are doing that they are asking for donations you do not ask for donations for business if you want to sell shares sell shares if you want to give loans you know even in this covid 19 era you say okay whenever the lockdowns are lifted that is when we'll be we'll begin counting my ability to pay you back but not that you'll be asking for donations it is so dishonest you know the people who are for this are the same people who will criticize pastors the people who will be sponsoring prostitutes and giving all that money to prostitutes aiding and abetting and supporting that nonsense you know on that high level are the same people who will criticize pastors who are using the money for advancing the gospel or for giving to the poor? You know, only recently, you know, Billy Graham's son's organization, you know, that is um, Billy Graham's son, um, Frank Franklin Graham, his organization, Samaritan's Post, were just kicked out of, um, I believe, Times Square. You know, they had a charity situation where they were. Um, helping people, providing food and all of that for people, and I believe also helping with uh, medical, you know, situations. But the homosexuals, the LGBT people, rose up and put a lot of protests in this COVID-19 era that because, frankly, Graham is against homosexuality, that they, they should get him out of there. What about all the people he's helping? What about all the hungry people he's feeding? They do not matter. So now it is more important that a Christian, you know, and this and just shows you so many things about the world and people ignore. You know, people don't see how Christians are, are being treated and persecuted. You know, they do not care about the fact that this Christian organization is feeding so many poor people in this COVID-19 era and is providing medical services to people. That is what it's for. It was not even about preaching sermons. They were not preaching. But because it is, ah, we want to do everything, we cannot allow these um, Christians. These Christians do not like homosexuality. So because they do not uh, like homosexuality, they got kicked out of doing what? Giving food to the hungry. So it shows you the madness of how things are. But that being said, you know, it's interesting the way the world is going and we as Christians, we must lead in the business world. It is very important that we take over that. So that is something that we are going to do. Now, when I say things like this, I know that many Christians are in different places. They hear different things from different places. And not everyone that is that names themselves with the name of Christ or of Christ, you know, you are your own, you know, you you and god you know that is your relationship you and god is you and god you know um what i'm trying to say is that what i'm doing is i'm building up my own organization my own christian organization to do these things so that is what i'm looking at i'm not training it out there expecting all christians to catch the vision and to go in the right direction if they want to good but that is not um focus and proper planning i'm talking about my own organization and what we are doing you know so for my business organization you know our friend and friends reach out to me and i'll be glad to um put you on and get you into what we do so go to our friend and friends.com also if you are listening to this and you've not given your life to jesus christ go to alfred and friends.com click on the salvation prayer link in the main menu when you do that, a page will come out that has a prayer of salvation. Say that prayer and give your life to Jesus Christ. So that is it for today. Thank you and God bless you.